When a projectile moves under the influence of gravity, it sweeps out a parabolic trajectory. For example, consider a cannonball being fired from this cannon. As it travels, it sweeps out a curved path. That curve is a parabola. Why does the projectile follow a parabolic path? Well, we can figure that out if we think about the velocity vector involved. The firing of the cannon gives the ball an initial push, but once the ball leaves the cannon, the cannon can't push on the ball anymore. So it leaves the cannon with a specific velocity. Now that velocity vector can be broken up into an x component and a y component, and that's what I've pictured here. Now remember, the cannon cannot push on the ball anymore. However, gravity can pull on the ball. It will be pulling the ball down. Now think about what happens to each of these components as the ball travels. There's nothing pushing on the ball in the x dimension. So the x component of the velocity vector stays constant. However, gravity is pulling down on the ball. So that will affect the y component of the velocity vector. So as the ball travels, the x component doesn't change, but the y component does. It's initially pointed up. Well, since gravity is pulling down, that means initially the y component of the velocity vector will decrease in size. Eventually, the acceleration due to gravity will reduce the y component to zero. At that point, the projectile reaches its maximum height. Of course, the ball doesn't really stop there because gravity is still pulling it down, and there's still an x component to the velocity. So as time goes on, the y component of the velocity becomes more and more negative as the ball accelerates towards the ground. When the ball finally reaches the same height from which it was launched, the x component of the velocity hasn't changed at all. It's exactly the same. The y component of the velocity has the same magnitude, but instead of being pointed up as it was initially, it is now pointed down. So in the end, the magnitude of the velocity is the same. However, the direction has changed because of the change in the y component of the velocity vector, and that's due simply to gravity. Just to make sure you understand this, I want you to watch it one more time. Notice that the only component that's changing is the y component. That's why the path ends up being parabolic.